Hey guys, Photoshop Destiny here from PhotoshopDestiny.com, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys creating um, desktop icons. So uh, basically, you can just cre uh, use these icons anywhere you want, and it's just going to change how the folder or icon looks. So as you can see, the AIM icon is this. Uh, you can change it if you want. Um, but I'm going to be changing some folder icons so the folder icon I'm going to be changing is my Photoshop brushes icon um, this is where I store all my Photoshop brushes and I want it to stand out from the other folders you can see they almost look all alike and I'm gonna be creating a different icon for this so let's get started by opening up Photoshop CS4 or any other version you have and going to file new and the width keep it at 250 and the height also 250 um, color mode RGB color and background contents white resolution 72 pixels and click OK now what you want to do is first you want to unlock the uh, background layer alright then you want to get your uh, rounded rectangle tool and you just want to make the size of your icon um, keep in mind that if you make your um, square too small that's what it's gonna look like this is gonna be the entire icon so you want to take up as much space as possible so I'm just gonna delete that and I'm gonna zoom in a bit now I'm going to keep my background color is white you won't be able to see that now but now I'm just gonna start off as corner as possible and I'm just gonna start making my square alright so there we go now you can't see anything in there because you can only see the line because of what background color is white so I'm just gonna add a sh um, I'm gonna go to blending options and add a stroke to it you can see there's a black stroke around so your icon looks a bit more thick from the out, uh, outside and now I'm gonna add a gradient overlay now you can see the color has changed and we can use any color you want for this um, I'm going to use blue and white because that's the color of Photoshop sort of and that's what I'm gonna make my icon and I'm gonna keep the blue at the bottom and the white at the top and click OK now you can add um, bevel and boss if you want so I think I might do that also now you can see it adds a bit of depth to it so I'm just gonna increase that a bit and now I'm gonna soften it so it looks rounded off um, okay I'm just gonna alright so click OK and it looks like there's a bit of depth to your icon and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert an image instead of text so for Photoshop brushes uh, it's obviously gonna be a brush so I'm gonna open up a brush image that I've already saved brush alright now I'm gonna zoom in and delete the background white content all the unnecessary white and I'm gonna drag this image into my document you can see it's a bit small so we're gonna resize it by pressing control T and oops I'm gonna resize it holding shift makes um, makes it proportional so I'm just gonna rotate it also from this angle a bit so it fits in gonna make it a bit bigger a little more rotation and one alright so that looks about right press enter and it should be in now you can mess around with this also and add some cool funk to it if you want but um, I'm not gonna do anything with it so yeah I'm just gonna leave it as that now you can add some uh, whatever you want this is just basic icon I made and 
Um, once you have added everything you want, what you want to do is go back to your background layer, which is now going to be layer 0 since you unlocked it, and you want to delete that. So, you might not notice, but if you zoom in, you'll see that um, the background content has turned into transparent, and that's what we want it, transparent, so there won't be any white showing. Now, we're going to go to File, Save, and we're going to name it test oops test icon you want to save the format as PNG and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and sit, click OK now you can see there's a PNG file on your desktop or wherever you saved it called test icon now you want to convert that icon uh, the PNG file into an icon file how are we gonna do that well we're gonna use this um, we're gonna go to the internet and go to convert ico.com I'll have the link in the description uh, you guys can check that out so now you wanna upload a PNG or ICO file and we have a PNG file so we're gonna click browse and locate it where we saved it so I saved it to my desktop test icon open it and then we click convert now it's going to start converting and what it, it, it'll only take um, like two seconds to convert now it says click here to download so right click this and save cho and choose save target as we have Firefox so it's save link as so right click save link as and as you can see the save type is ICO image that's the one we want we're gonna save it to our desktop again click save and it's completed and there we have our icon we can get rid of our PNG file and we can um, now um, put this into use so we're gonna go back into the folder that I want to convert in, um, change the icon for Photoshop brushes right click properties and go to customize change icon browse now you're gonna have to browse for where you have saved your icon um, I saved it to my desktop and there it is click open OK and apply and OK and there you go you can see that it has taken effect and if I click it everything's still the same and yeah so as you can see it stands out from the rest of the folders and it just customizes your PC a lot now you want to make sure you don't get rid of this because if you do get rid of it um, it'll go back to the default uh, um, folder or icon and you can get rid of the PNG file if you want but you want to keep the icon file somewhere safe so what I recommend is uh, click create a new folder and um, call it icon and keep all the, your icons in there so nothing gets lost but that's basically it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.